Holidays are usually airports, bus, and hotel carrying your own luggage. But with a caravan, everything is neatly stored away from your own bed to your own knife and fork that has never been used by anyone else. In the southern centre of France lies the beautiful town of Branton. The campsite has a new swimming pool and a heated toilet block and showers just in case we have a touch of English weather in the air. In the shower block also are the washing and drying machines so everything is at hand for extended holidays. The campsite also has static homes which people can hire for those who have no caravan or motorhome and just want to drive through France and settle down by the banks of a slow moving river and watch the trout slowly and lazily drifting by in the summer sun. Journeying through France takes a little time to adjust to the slower pace of life enjoyed by the local population. Once accustomed to this condition, life takes on a whole new meaning, with no telephones ringing and the everyday worries of home fading into the distance as peace and tranquility settles life down to the slower pace of the passing river. Some people's dream is spending six months of the winter months in Spain in a, in a motorhome as big as a bungalow and using a Harley Davidson motorcycle just to collect the groceries from the local supermarket. The magnificent monastery dominates one side of the town and the monk's efforts of diverting the river and building bridges and waterways enhance the beauty of this building. All is peace and quiet except the sound of the water going over the sluices before it resumes its peaceful journey onwards to the sea. Part of the river's flow is diverted to drive a water wheel once used to grind the corn, but is now a feature of a restaurant by the riverside. For those who wish to rest their feet in the hot sunshine, there is a pleasure boat to take you along the waterways and let you view the scenery in comfort before returning for lunch at one of the many riverside restaurants, serving a variety of food to suit everyone's taste while watching the river glide slowly past with each new and exciting varied course of cuisine.
accompanied by a French wine. A very pleasant way to have lunch away from the hustle and bustle of life. Phil the Builder started his mammoth task in the 13th century, creating a masterpiece in stone and a monument to his skill and dedication to his calling. The graceful columns and the high vaulted roof stone must be saturated with the hymns and psalms sung and chanted over the following centuries in praises to the Lord by the monks. Without electric tools, the work of carving each block to fit exactly to the next, using a hammer and chisel and a lot of perspiration, is of a bygone age, when time did not matter and only the finished product had to be perfect to stand the test of time and skill used in their efforts. Daily life goes on, and the bridge that first supported the horse and wagons bringing goods and products to market now have the rumble of motor vehicles carrying out similar tasks. All in the river goes past at the same speed as it did all those years ago. The scene in the open marketplace, now adorned by modern gaily decorated stalls, must have changed little over the centuries, except for the canvas covers and the goods for sale by the local traders. Everything seems to be geared to the slow moving flow of the river, passing their gardens, shops and restaurants. A time to stand or sit and chat to their friends in the sunshine. Standing on the bridge becomes a popular pastime. Watching the locals passing by, going about their daily life at a slower pace than we are normally used to. Each day glides past, and the routine of resting on the lounges in the afternoon sun, watching the river, gives a satisfying meaning to our existence. In the next village, the ancient market square with its central covered area still has the oak beamed roof. Life is so green that even the horses blend into the landscape. As evening approaches, the shadows lengthen and it is only the sound of the birds and the chink of the glasses that bring out the rabbits to see what is disturbing the peace. Once more a time to relax and watch the sun slowly sink into the west. 